you have to watch this video if you want to get the top 10 must-have iPhone widgets for your home screen in iOS 14. I'm Vlad from iPhoneTricks.org and let's dive right into the content. Let's get you going with Pedometer Plus Plus. I'll add the widget to the home screen. Notice that there are five different widgets available, three small size widgets and two large size, um, two medium size ones, sorry. I'll add the daily step graph and now I'll add all the other small size widgets and I'll create a smart stack out of pedometer widgets. Next in the list is motivation. What's a better way to start the day than with a good thought? Motivation has three widget sizes, all, all of them available. I'll add the small widget. The weather channel widget is also a must have. It comes with uh, all three widget sizes, medium, small and large. And it provides minute by minute uh, forecast about precipitations. Fourth on the list, we have kitchen stories. Don't get bored and cook the same thing every day. With Kitchen Stories widget, you have the daily recipe in three sizes. And let me add the small size. Next up, we have the Google Search widget. Having the Google Search engine on your home screen in iOS 14 is a powerful tool. You can choose between small and medium size. And the medium size comes with incognito search too and uh, looks also very nice next up we have our first bonus of the video if you are more privacy oriented you might go for DuckDuckGo which is a privacy browser for iOS 14 instead of the Google search now let me make a bit of room on the home screen and create some smart stack to be able to accommodate the other widgets on number six, we have Event Time, which allows you to add a countdown widget to your home screen. You can create your own countdown or choose one that's already available in the app. After adding the widget, you have to tap Add Widget and select a countdown that's available. To create your own countdown, enter the app itself and tap the plus icon to add a new countdown. You can add a nice background photo to customize, uh, edit the name of the countdown, and of course, put the date and time for the timer to end. You can add small, medium, or large countdowns, and also create the countdown smart stack by dragging and dropping a widget on top of the other. Okay, let me do a bit more space, uh, create some, put the countdown over the weather widget because you don't have to see them daily. On number seven, we have IMDB, the popular movie rating website that adds a bunch of widgets, including popular trailers, Born Today, What to Watch, all in medium size, What to Watch in large size, and latest news in all three sizes. Let me add the popular movie trailers. Up next, we have Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, and brings lots of widgets, including picture of the day in all three sizes. On this day in all three sizes with popular events from the past and the most popular articles of the day. Okay, let me add the Wikipedia widget over the uh, countdown widget. And we save the best for last. Color widgets is uh, one of the best custom widget apps. It provides uh, widgets in all three sizes. You should first open the color widgets app and customize your widget. Here you can choose from predefined layouts. Tap on a layout to select it or tap on the active widget to add your own background from the photos app and then choose your font, your theme and various other settings. Tap on save widget. You can also choose 
if you want the widget to display the battery percentage and the time format. Notice that with color widgets, you can display in a single widget multiple data, including the date, the day and time, the battery percentage and much more. Let me make some more space and we'll go on to number 10, Widgetsmith. This is perhaps the most popular custom widgets app on the App Store at the, mo at the moment. Similarly, you have to add a widget, but before you do that, you have to customize your widgets in the main app. Then long press on the widget, tap edit widget and select the widget that you want to use. If you want to create a new widget, open the main app, tap on add medium widget, for example, tap on the widget, tap default widget and browse through the available types. You can choose from photo widgets, calendar widgets, weather widgets, activity widgets, and so on. Let me now add a new photo widget. I will have to select the photo that I want to use. I go in the Photos app, select the photo, and rename the widget to better identify it in the list, and tap Save. That's very important. After I save my widget, I long press on the widget on the home screen, tap Edit Widget, and select the widget that I just created. And that's it. You have now the widget displaying on the home screen. Good, I'll make a smart stack of the, of the two. Because this video doesn't finish here, guys. We have our second bonus for all soccer fans out here. So it's called Footmob and it allows you to add a widget to your home screen that tracks your favorite soccer team. You can add, for example, the small widget, tap on Edit Widget and select the team that you want to follow. The most important uh, clubs are available, including some national teams. If you tap on the widget on the home screen, you're redirected to the main app as with any other widget. Last but not least, I recommend you not to fill up your entire home screen with the smart stack widget. Because else you will have a difficult time swiping for spotlight search. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit iphonetricks.org daily for tips and tricks related to your favorite Apple products. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.